I had breakfast at the last hotel. There's a egg noodle soup, but it was basically just top ramen or whatever with some egg in it. But I thought it was good. Got some orange juice. Um, and then I was going to start heading out for the day, and all of a sudden it was like pouring rain, and I had two hours to kill, and I had some work to do, so the girl at the front desk, when she offered me to sit there for a little bit, I took her up on the offer. Um, and then eventually I felt awkward just sitting there, so I just left, but the rain had stopped at that point. It's always awkward when uh, hotels will ask me like if I'm staying more than one night, and I try to explain to them that like I'm staying at a different place each night, and... So when I was leaving uh, this place, the girl asked me, she's like, did you have any complaints about here? I was like, no. <laughs> it's like awkward trying to say, like, I, I really like your place. I'm not staying here again. Started heading towards the hotel. I wanted to get some kind of lunch, but I wasn't that hungry. Uh, so I figured I'd get some kind of salad. And uh, there was a place called, uh, it was like Gastro. Um, it was a pub. It was a very Swedish meal. It was like a roasted beet root salad with, uh, I think it's rockets, or like spinach basically, uh, goat cheese, and I had a Vietnamese black coffee, which here coffee kind of tastes, I mean, it's always kind of like this, but it tastes kind of chocolatey, and like I had to keep telling her that I, I'm fine with black uh, coffee, because like she was like asking if I wanted any milk or sugar, and then she was asking like, well, if you want to go over, you can get sugar. I was like, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> For a little dessert, I had a, I can't remember what it was called, it was like a, it was like jasmine, I want to say it was like clotted cream or something, but it was basically a um, creme brulee, and uh, it, the cream part basically tasted like, it took me a while to figure out what it was, but it basically tasted like uh, Nilla wafers, like kind of toasted. I uh, was trying to get worried because I forgot to go to ATM before, and it turned out that I was short on cash, and luckily they accepted cards. I went to the ATM that was outside of a um, convenience store. I put the card in and I was waiting for it to like ask for my pin or ask for which language I want to use and then it wasn't like doing anything. It was just cycling through these ads and I was like, oh, they need my card. Because I was trying to kind of freak out. I was like pushing all these buttons and then I was like <laughs> looking around for people to help me and then the card just kind of came out eventually. So I'm a little paranoid about there being some kind of a credit card collection system that was built into that. <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, I've made arrangements just in case. Later, I went to an actual bank and um, withdrew from there. And so I got like $100 out, which was like over $2 million dong. I officially have no idea <laughs> what I'm doing with money anymore. Yeah, so it's $50,000, 10000 10000 $10,000, $10,000, $10,000. Thousand, it's just like numbers stop meaning anything at this point. <laughs> like I'm slowly getting a grip of it, but it's, it's just weird just having more than a million of something in your pocket. I tried to track down my next hotel, and it was kind of like in the middle of this block. And so I could see the street address, so I kind of tried to figure it out. And like so compared to Thailand, I could actually kind of understand the street addresses here. So I was wandering around. Uh, it took me a couple of times going through this back alley to figure out where it was. And I get there, and then they couldn't find the reservation. Like, I mean, it was only like a $13 reservation, so like, I could have just like opened a new reservation and maybe canceled the other one. I don't know. It's just, if she found the reservation, I'd see what the problem was. But, uh, so instead, she, uh, set me up with a reservation at like a separate company or a separate property that was owned by the same company. And then, like, uh, one of the, like, there was a guy that came out that was like offering me a ride on his motorcycle, but it was like, I looked it up and it was only, like five blocks away, so I was like, I'm oh, good. Um, and then she said that, like, I just have to go in, show the desk this uh, business card, and basically the room was paid for at this other place. So I got into that. So far, this is definitely the nicest room I've been in here. Although, unfortunately, 
They won't let me smork, which, you know, I've been really jonesing for a good smork. Okay, the blinds are kind of crazy. Oh, now they're working. So there's like, it's on this whole like pulley system and the knots. How is this not broken yet? My last two rooms haven't had any windows, so it's kind of nice to actually be able to look out. like there's like a standard um, brand that every hotel uses for these toothbrushes and that little toothpaste. It's kind of like tasteless. So I haven't really been using it. I bought two of myself. I got a hairdryer. Towels. An actual tub. This one definitely seems uh, cleaner than the other ones. So far the one unfortunate design flaw is so the curtain doesn't go all the way around, which is fine because you just point like that, but it's like stuck pointing over here. <laughs> So, yeah, I think I've told it the whole time. Is it weird that I want to eat the soap? I'm not crazy about the plug situation. <clears throat> so at the vanity slash desk, there's no plug. The only plug over here is behind the chair. So I'd have to be like sitting on one of these chairs and they're not comfortable. You think there'd be an outlet around here because the lamp, but actually the lamp's not plugged in. <clears throat> the outlet is way back there. The charger for my laptop has to be plugged in like that and that outlet. It is constantly falling out. So I only had it plugged in for a little bit last night. While I was working this afternoon, um, there's like a dog, like <laughs> screaming for its life, <laughs> like off and on for a couple hours, and it was driving me crazy. So now it's stopped. I don't know if that's sad or what. I'm just gonna assume that the dog just took a nap. I was planning on going out to get dinner. So there's a place called a uh, Highway Four, and they had a lot of the. Uh, exotic, or at least to Western sensibilities, uh, meats. I had was like spicy satay grilled frog legs, which is the first time I've had frog, and they were good. I'm, I keep trying to like place what it tastes like, and it's not chicken. Like The consistency, I mean, chicken's kind of the go-to, but it's like it's hard to place because there was a lot of spices, so I wasn't just tasting the frog. But it was an interesting flavor. Um, it was more greasy. Uh, I mean, taste-wise, I, I guess I would say like it's like the middle between like uh, I don't know, fish and chicken, which seems like a cop out, but it was close. Um, there wasn't that much meat on them, uh, and then so I figured I'd get something else because the prices were pretty good and uh, so they had some stuff in like the broth section of the menu so I figured it would just be kind of kind of like yesterday where there was just a small bowl of soup and it was one of the cheaper things on the menu and it ended up being like much more food than the um, frog legs but I got a some kind of snail dish with uh, green bananas the snails themselves they tasted fine it was just it, they were pretty tough wandered around a little bit more just to see more in the city there's a place on the corner I went to for a little bit. It's like uh, Thailand, how much they depend on uh, motorbikes or scooters. And I noticed this there too, but like just how many people they'll fit on a scooter, where like you'll easily see an entire family on a scooter, like four people at a time. The city in general seems kind of set to shut down. Like, I mean, my first real night here was Sunday night yesterday, um, and it seemed like there was a pretty big nightlife scene. Um, and then tonight, everything pretty much shut down at around like nine or something like that. Um, but then they replace it. There were a few places that were open, so it wasn't like a government mandated thing, but just in general, everything shuts down. There's a lot of horns here. 
like not like in aggravation. It's more just that people will honk just to let you know that you're they're going through. It's sort of like a bicycle bell. Um, so you're constantly hearing horns. Yeah, like I said, I'm still getting fuel for the city, but at the same time, I don't think I'm going to be here that long. So uh, until tomorrow.